Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strict. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see, today is going to be a dedicated video to a brand new high end concealer. This is the Urban Decay Quickie multi use concealer. I do have two different shades for you guys, and I wanted to test it out and also do a wear test and let you guys know if it's worth your money or not. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. I'm super excited about this concealer. Um, you guys know I love concealer and I love a good full coverage hydrating concealer. And from the claims of it, it looks like it's gonna be that. Now I did receive these in PR, but you guys know I do receive a lot of PR now, thank you Jesus. And none of this is sponsored. I will always give you guys my ultimate honest opinion. You guys know how it goes. So let's get into the claims, let's apply it, and then we'll see how it wears. And this is what it looks like. Again, this is the Urban Decay Naked Quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer. It does have a little brush on top, but first let me show you the applicator. So you do open it up and it is a doe foot applicator. It's not like a super big doe foot. It's like a, a medium sized doe foot. And on the top, it does have a buffing brush, which uh, I don't know about that, but we'll have to test it out. Um, so this is the brush. So it's like a little angled dense brush. And they do say to use this with the brush. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think this brush might be good for like blemishes. I don't know about under the eyes. That's why we're here today to test it out. Let me read you guys some claims so we know exactly what we're putting on our face. So it is a dual ended full coverage concealer with a natural finish up to 24 hour coverage. Again, dual ended multi-use applicator. It's supposed to be an intense all day hydration. And they say that this concealer can be worn anywhere, any way. Moisturizing formula for all skin types, whether you have mature, dry, oil or anything in between, also suitable for sensitive skin. Um, so it says that the Quickie Concealer can even out skin tone, minimize discoloration, spots and blemishes, acne scars, under eye circles, redness, even scars and stretch marks. Interesting that they put that there. I mean, that's good, I guess. So it is 24 different shades and it does go for $33. I did get sent two shades, so hopefully one of these works. I have 50 WY and 40 WY. Obviously, they're both warm shades. So here's 50 WY and here's 40. Maybe we could use one to correct and then one to conceal with. Or you know what? For the sake of the video, I should get merch that say the sake of the video. Why don't we do one on each side and then we can see what looks better. So I do have my skincare on and I also just applied my e.l.f. glowy sunscreen. That's why my skin looks glowy. I'm gonna go in with a very light coverage foundation so that we can see how this covers blemishes. So I will be right back. This is the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. It doesn't really cover much. It just gives a nice tint. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see all my pores and all its glory. So um, let's see, I kind of want to use the darker shade first because I think it'll work better. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little stressed out about this freaking buffing brush, but let's just go ahead and go at it. I'm going to apply as much as I would normally apply. And then, like I mentioned, we're going to use this to kind of cover the blemishes. Okay, it's actually a little bit softer than I thought it would be. Keep in mind, it is very dense though. That blended out nicely. Let's blend out this little blemish. I don't know how much I would use this brush, but I do think it would be cute for like little blemishes. Can we focus? And now let's get around the nose. So far it's blending out very quickly and it's looking actually very pretty and very natural. Okay, so, <laughs> uh. I just don't like using like brushes like this under my eyes, but we're going to do it for the video, okay? Wow, that looks so pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely doing the job. It just doesn't feel the best under my eyes, and that's just because I don't love going in with a brush. It's definitely working, but let's go ahead and put that away and just kind of finish it off with the little beauty blender just because I want to make sure it's blended out perfectly fine. I don't want to judge the concealer on a, like a bad blend, but I will say that brush was nice for the face. That looks gorgeous. That truly looks so, so pretty. It is a full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. It looks so freaking nice, and I think that shade's actually perfect for me. But if you guys are wondering about the other shade, if we're like shade twins, I got you guys. So now I'm going to go in with 40 WY. Again, this is 
a little bit brighter and a little bit on the peachier side so it might be like extra brightening i actually do like this brush for blemishes because it's like super dense so it doesn't really spread the product as much so i do feel like it would be really nice uh for blemishes because it's like blending it out a good amount but not taking away the coverage guys if this sets really nice this could possibly be a new favorite concealer of mine. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really tried much Urban Decay uh, base products, but this concealer so far is looking super, super nice, obviously off of first impressions. I do think it works for me. If you're looking for a nice, brightening but warm shade get the 40 wy if you're looking for something that is brightening but maybe just looks a little bit more natural get the 50. i'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more on each side of the opposing shades just to see if we get any more coverage and of course just to even it out a little bit but i have to say definitely no need to uh, add more to it you guys know i'm a full coverage concealer type of gal and this is giving what i need it to give on one swipe it does have 0.55 fluid ounces so that's about half of like what you would get in a foundation bottle and with concealer you don't really use that much so i don't know it might be really freaking nice that looks absolutely freaking gorgeous i am loving it um i'm gonna do some quick highlighting um, because why not so I'll just kind of reverse contour I said that weird this is giving me dare I say it's giving me uh, born this way multi sculpting concealer vibes because it's like extremely full coverage but so far it doesn't feel drying it's supposed to have a natural finish ah, this is nice okay so I'm gonna set it with my go-to powder because I want to be fair so we're gonna set it with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder with a powder puff and we'll see how it sets oh my goodness it's not feeling dry at all um this powder is not drying but if a concealer is drying i would feel it okay that looks gorgeous let's go ahead and set the other eye as well and then lastly i'm just going to set wherever else i did put the concealer looks nice and it feels good it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel heavy i mean you guys tell me i think it looks pretty freaking flawless so hopefully it wears well i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera to save some time and i will let you guys know how makeup went on top of it and then we'll do a little wear test you guys oh my god okay first of all i know you're gonna ask me I know you guys, uh, the lip combo. I am wearing Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Wise, and you guys already know Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper Lip Gloss and Champagne Cushion Cut. You guys, this is a really good concealer. As you can see, it looks absolutely flawless. You guys saw that I had almost like no coverage on my face from that foundation, so it definitely made it super, super like high coverage, and also. It's extremely hydrating. It's so hydrating that I do think like a little bit would be better because I feel like I did apply too much and then when I did set it, um, it still looks beautiful. It just feels, um, it feels just a little bit heavier but not drying. It's just extremely hydrating. So I do think you can go in with a like definitely lighter hand and this is a concealer that I wouldn't be afraid to like bake with. I have normal to dry under eyes and I feel like this is like hydrating and emollient enough for me to like bake under the eyes. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to like disrupt what I have going on right now but so far I am absolutely loving it. I think it looks flawless. It was extremely easy to blend out and it looks really beautiful so so far um, it looks like it might become one of my new favorites obviously I will let you guys know. We're gonna be doing a wear test. It is currently 10 a.m. I can give you guys a good little wear test. And also, um, you know, I'm gonna keep trying it out even after this video. And if it becomes a holy grail, I will let you guys know in my monthly favorites. So I will see you guys in natural lighting and then after a wear test. Hey guys, sorry, it's been like 30 minutes, but this is what the makeup looks like. Sorry it's if, if it's echoey, I'm just in my house. But see how like healthy, hydrated, luminous, under the eyes, also I did put it right here, you know. I just feel like for such a full coverage concealer, it's extremely hydrating and it looks very natural. So, so far I'm loving it. I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Hey guys, so it is currently 4 p.m. So it's been eight hours. This is what we're looking like. 
I think this is one of my new favorites. Um, it looks really, really good. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't think you need to use that much product because a thin layer truly gave me that full coverage. Um, it's not creasing under the eyes. It looks nice. It looks hydrated. It looks beautiful. I really think that a lot of you guys would like it. I think maybe, maybe, maybe if you have like super oily skin, you might not like this concealer for like a touch of concealer because it is extremely hydrating. But other than that, I really think you guys would enjoy it. If you really like full coverage, I think this is amazing. And I will say that little brush on it, it's a really nice little brush for like touch ups and blemishes. So I am putting this concealer in my everyday makeup bag. I will keep testing it out for you guys, but first impressions, Stunning stunning stunning. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye